Hey everybody, Tom Watts, Airstream of South Florida, division of North Trail RV here in sunny Fort Myers, Florida. Today we're going to do a brief overview of the 2021 Airstream Globetrotter 25FB with a queen. A couple stats real quick. This trailer is 25 feet 11 inches long. It's 8 foot 5 and a half inches wide with an interior width of 8 foot 1. Um, we're going to get right into it here. First of all, we're right under this beautiful awning here. It's a Zip D awning. This is a power awning on the Globetrotter. Uh, made of sunbrella fabric. No mold, no mildew on the sunbrella fabric. Let's go right here next. You have power stabilizers on this unit. So you have stabilizers on all four corners. All you gotta do is press a couple buttons, the stabilizers go down and you're good to go. So power stabilizers on the 2021 Globetrotter. Okay, moving down here, we've got the brand new to 2021 tankless water heater. This is great. The, old, the former water heaters had like six gallons of water in them. These are tankless. Your water's gonna get hot quicker. It's done by propane and just a, a lot, lot nicer process. Longer showers, which everybody's gonna like. Moving here, you've got some outside storage. You just turn this and you've got some outside storage here. Moving around to the front of the coach, you have the iconic Airstream rock guards. These things are great, stainless steel. As you can see on this side, they're hinged. So if you wanna clean behind these things, all you gotta do is loosen these two, these three bolts and you can clean out behind it, okay? Moving around to the front, stainless steel propane cover. You've got two 30 pound propane tanks. You got 60 pounds of propane on board here, okay? And they're regulated. Two stage regulator, you run out of propane on one of these tanks, it's automatically gonna to switch to the other one. That's a great feature, especially if you're out boondocking or something like that. This unit has two 90 watt solar panels, okay? Uh, what's nice about that is with the solar panels, it's gonna trickle charge your battery all the time. And when we have the solar panels on here, you've got two AGM batteries. No maintenance on these babies. And those are stored right there, okay? A couple other little things here. You've got the Lexan window guard. This is a solar guard and a rock guard. Same thing with these uh, rock guards here. These panels actually come off. You've got a couple quarter turn screws in here. They come off and you can clean behind those. You can actually take those off. This is a solar guard, like I said. The middle window comes up. You can screw these in and you've got uh, the window that'll open up here, get a lot of circulation through there. Moving around to the other side of the coach, we've got the uh, Zip D awning here. It's gonna help keep about seven to 10 degrees of, wet, of uh, temperature off the side of the trailer. That's really great, especially on this side over here, okay? Again, your, your uh, stabilizers, okay? You've got the outside shower, hot and cold running water. Maybe you've got a pet or maybe your feet get dirty during a, a, during a hike. Nice thing to have here. Fresh water fill, okay? Fresh water, 37 gallons of onboard water. So that comes in good. You gotta turn on your water pump inside. We can look at that later. There's your dumping station. Got a little light down here to help you if you're dumping at night. And the nice thing about this dump station is black tank, of course, is your toilet water. Gray tank is your shower water and sink water. You can just dump out of there. It's, uh, you know, gravity fed. City water hookup. Regulated water on the, on the Airstream. Hook up here and you got your city water if you have it at the campground. Black tank flush. It's gonna flush out your black tanks and keep, uh, you know, get rid of some of those smells or whatever you might have, and then you put one of the pods in. This is where the Zip D awning pulls down. You just hook it right in here. It also has a, uh, uh, you, you secure it right up there for when you're traveling. Gotta make sure that's secure, okay? This is, this unit has two ACs. It has one 15,000 BTU AC and a 13.5 BTU AC. Those uh, also have a heat pump in them. And when you have the two ACs, you are now 50 amp service. So you have a 50 amp service versus a 30 amp with you just have one AC. If you're plugged into 30 amp, you can only run one AC, okay? Down here, you've got cable or satellite hookup. And this is venting for your uh, furnace and your water heater, okay? Moving around to the back, first thing you're gonna see is we have another rear awning. Again, keeping the heat off the, off the coach. 
place to put your license plate. And then this is what we call wet storage. You might want to put awning tools in here, wheel chocks, things you don't care about because they're going to get wet back here. But that is called wet storage. And that's a nice feature to have on any coach. Up here we have our rear camera. You have a monitor inside your vehicle that is going to, uh, you know, you can, you can set the monitor up, got to have your lights on. You can see uh, as you're backing up and you can see traffic behind you as you're going down the road. Don't suggest you spend a lot of time looking at the traffic behind you as you're going down the road though. All right, let's go on inside. Okay, everybody, now we're inside this beautiful trailer. This is the dark walnut with the Copenhagen cream covers here on the, uh, on the upholstery. This thing is beautiful. It's one of my favorite trailers and I'm not just saying that because I want to sell you one. Let's start here at the kitchen in the galley. You've got the uh, Corian countertops, beautiful Corian countertops with the sink covers. You can turn them over and use them as a, uh, as a cutting board. You got the Moen faucet here. Beautiful thing there. You got some more trash cans back here. Maybe you're cutting up some veggies, you just kind of shoot them off into there, okay? You got the Italian light ply overhead lockers, beautiful. They've actually got mirrors in them. They're, they've got highlighting in there. Um, the nice thing about this is for somebody who's vertically challenged like me, you can actually see what's in here uh, because of the mirrors. But just beautiful cabinetry uh, made at the Airstream factory. Opening up here, you've got some uh, storage, okay? You've got, again, the Corian countertops. You've got a 110 outlet here. Uh, you've got a shade that can pull down and, and, and be here to get rid of that sun. You've got the, uh, the lighted stove top and you've got the uh, vent, okay, which you open on the outside. Beautiful three burner cooktop. You got a striker right there to light it, obviously on propane. In this trailer, we substituted the uh, stove for the convection microwave. It's a really popular option that a lot of people like to go to. They like to have the option of the microwave and the convection. Airstream tries to take advantage of all the storage they can. Just something I want to point out real quick. You've got all LED lighting in these trailers and ducted AC. Moving back to the bathroom area. Again, the beautiful dark walnut and you've got the portal window. Love the portal window. Inside the bathroom, you've got uh, you know a towel rack, you've got a porcelain toilet, you've got the nice medicine cabinet here that comes up, you've got a fan to help with uh, some exhaust, um, you've got a 110 outlet there. This is your water heater. This is your water heater monitor or how you turn on the water heater. And again, that's gonna be on propane and lots of storage in here as well. Moving into the bedroom, this has the queen bed. Uh, you have an option of a twin of twin beds in here as well. Your queen bed is 60 by 75, and you get all the pillows and the uh, comforter and everything else. Uh, you've got reading lights here and right there. You, again, the overhead locker, highlighted overhead locker. Storage here, there's got some of the pillows that come with it there, and more storage cabinets here. This bed actually lifts up. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you've got storage under there, and that's where your inverter is as well. Okay, the wraparound windows, the iconic Airstream wraparound windows, they're beautiful and give you a great view from your bedroom. You have a TV here and you've got all your light switches here and dimmers. Thermostat, that's how you set the thermostat, in, or set the temperature in the coach, whether it's going to be heat, air, uh, you know, heat pump, whatever it's going to be, that's all done right here. Pretty simple, just like your, uh, your, uh, your thermostat at home. Got your shower here, you've actually got your wand up here, and again, with the tankless water heater, you're going to have hot water on demand. You've got another fan in here, you've got a clothesline that you pull over and connect there. A nice size wardrobe here, you can hang your clothes. Right now we've got some spare cushions in there, but uh, there's your, uh, your cushions for uh, filling in for your bed areas up front, okay? You'll notice that there's a light in here. You also notice that the, the bar is ribbed so that your clothes don't go flying around when you're traveling. Here we have your 6.8 cubic foot refrigerator. This runs on either propane or electric. And again, for most purposes, I would set this on automatic because if you're, if you're running on propane and you plug in, it automatically switches over to electric. So you're gonna save your propane. As you're going down the road, you might wanna keep your stuff a little bit cooler. And in here, you can do that. You've got a crisper down here. Here we have your TV for your uh, living area. Back in here, you've got USB ports. Those are all over the, the coach, okay? You've got blinds that come down and hook in here, or you can just hook them right there if you wanna get rid of just some of the light. All there, there's 16 windows or, or skylights in this coach. All of them 
open out and have three different stages. So it, depending on how high you want it to be and how you want the air to come through and circulate. Again, all of these open up, including the front. The ones on the side do not. Um, you've got the lounge area here. This actually comes out to make another bed in here. And you've got storage down here with the Sterilite bins in it, okay? Uh, this table uh, can be removed. You, put the you take the uh, pedestals off, you put the table down, and then you fill in with more cushions to make a bed area there. Again, you've got the overhead lockers, more Airstream goodies there. You've got your stereo, more Airstream, uh, more USB ports, and your Blu-ray player. Airstream thinks of everything. Up here we have a fantastic fan. Uh, if you've only got one AC, then you have two of the fantastic fans. But this one, uh, just with this coach having two ACs, you just have the one fantastic fan. It's going to bring a lot of, it's going to move a lot of air around and suck a lot of air out. One of the biggest things for 2021, this is a woven vinyl floor here, as you can see, a woven vinyl floor. And now new for 2021 and actually late 2020 was a composite floor. It's all one piece, no wood, no plywood, no nothing. It's a composite floor that's going to repel any kind of moisture that might get into that floor. Tom Watts, Airstream of South Florida in sunny Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, if you like this video, uh, like it and subscribe and hope to see you soon.